all right all right welcome back to our wonderful class okay today we are going to be looking at Igbo Igbo but today we will look at um number which is ono agogo ni Igbo that is numbers in Igbo Igbo numbers how you can identify <coughs> and you'll be able to call the Igbo numbers that is what we are going to be learning today okay so od number d j j od number d e j j types of numbers types of Igbo numbers at least today you will learn how to identify it and master the numbers okay numbers and numerals looks alike but they are not the same however numerals are used to showcase numbers number on its own nature and function is important in today's sum take for instance one may be asked what is your number but nobody can ask any anybody what is your numeral it is wrong okay therefore let's consider some of these types of numbers we have chosen <coughs> this type of number that we have in Igbo okay um we have number nzuru number nzuru okay that you have in english it means whole or cardinal numbers if you are solving mathematics you'll be able to know you must have heard the word whole numbers yeah. so that is what we'll be talking about here <coughs> Now, these are those numbers that are shown by the use of numerals. They start from 0 to infinity. These are whole numbers. We have them here, which is, um, which is Efu. That is 0 is called Efu in Igbo. We have 1, which is Otu in Igbo. We have 2, which is Abwa. We have three, which is Ato. We have four, which is Ano. We have five, which is Ise. We have six, which is Isi. We have seven, <coughs> which is Asa. We have eight, which is Asato in Igbo. We have nine, which is Iteete or Itolu. We don't call it Iteete. We call it Itolu. We have ten, which is Iri. We have we have a 11 which is irina irino to we have 12 which is irina boa 13 irina to 14 irina no 20 iri aboa iri aboa we have 40 which is okay we have 30 which is iri ato 40 iri ano 50 iri iri ise and so on and so forth we have done other videos on 100 200 and um 1000 so we go and check it up in, uh, in this channel go and look it up okay let us not waste our time and continue look at number one abwa that is even numbers even numbers number one above say these are those numbers that can be divided by two and there will be no remainder that's what even number in your mathematics i believe you'll be familiar with even number in your mathematics will be very very familiar with even number number that can divide that can be divided by two without whole number <coughs> You know, have an example of them here, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 200, 1000, and above. 
you I have mentioned what these numbers are in Igbo. Yes, what they are called in Igbo, and go to the videos and you'll be able to see them. <coughs> okay, going further, we'll be looking at the number Nso Abwa. Number Nso Abwa, which means in English odd numbers. Odd numbers. Now, these are those numbers that must have a remainder when they are divided by 2, but will never have any remainder when they divide themselves. So, these are the odd numbers. You can see them there yourself. You can see them there yourself. Okay, let's, no. let's go for that. <coughs> Go further. Okay, look at the number and the also. We have other types of number. The number and the also in bracket it means other types of numbers. Okay, you have this one which is four number four. Number mpekele. Number mpekele. These ones are what fractional numbers. Fractional numbers. Fractional numbers. You can see the is that you have okay. Um, these are those numbers that are two, one at the top and the other one below. The number on top is called numerator. I believe you know this one. Numerator in Igbo means nonelu, nonelu, where the number uh, below the line is called denominator. You know, methods is called in Igbo nonala, nonala. Then let's move further. In Igbo language, when this number is being called, nime is introduced between the numerator and the denominator. <coughs> when you hear nime, nime means is introducing you. That is between the two. Is try to differentiate between the what or introducing to you the numerator and the denominator so what that's what they are trying to tell you that new media okay have the examples here you have one over two which means auto nime abwa one over two is called auto nime abwa in Igbo. then three over four is called ato nime ano in Igbo. four over seven are called anonyme asa naibo. Six over twelve is called isi nime iri naboa in Igbo. Five over nine is called isi nime itolu in Igbo language. Okay, and so on and so forth. You can have um nine over um nine over. 9 over anything, 9 over 8, 9 over, you can have it, uh, anything, any number, over, over, over. Now the next one is um, number over, number over, which means mixed numbers, mixed numbers. Okay, these are those that have both a whole number, a whole number and a fractional number. A whole number is being number mzuroke. As I've said before, a whole number is in zero, number in zero, okay, in Igbo. And in fractional numbers, that is number mpekele. To pronounce these numbers in Igbo, you mention the whole number first, but put a comma, that is recom. Comma means recom. And na, before the fractional number. Okay, let's look at the example here. <coughs> we have one whole number, two over four o two put comma na abo nime ano that is one whole number two over four we have another one here which is two whole number three over six which it means in Igbo um abo na o two nime isi we have the next one which is three whole number four over five which means ato 
na ano nime ise. Okay, the next one means five whole number two over seven. In Igbo it means ise na abo nime asa. And the next one is seven whole number six over ten, which means <coughs> asa ni si nime iri. Asa ni si nime iri. Okay? Let, let's continue and forge ahead. Alright. We'll look at the next one, which is um number. Okay. Nombanka. Which is what? Od, um, ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. Okay, now this one, these are those numbers that show much of position than arrangement. The word nke is used at the at the front of the number in Igbo language. The word nke is used front um is used at the front of the numbers in Igbo language. Okay. Um Okay, okay, okay. We have an example of it, which is what? We have first, which is nke mbo. Second, which is nke abo. That's why it's how it's called in Igbo. Third, we have nke ato. Fourth, we have nke ano. Fifth, we have nke ise. Um, tenth, we have nke iri. Twentieth, we have nke iri abo. Okay, so that is that. We have these fractions and the first and so many of them here. Yeah? You can continue to replay the video for better understanding of the um better understanding of the of the topic, okay? Okay, for better understanding of the topic okay this is where we'll stop for now so please if you want to learn how to read Igbo in anywhere in the world you can simply contact us and we will use an, an online educational platform we will teach you life life on Igbo languages which you ought to learn if you are interested in learning it just contact us on plus two three four eight one three three five seven seven four six five. Okay, so if you are not subscribed to the channel, do well to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that anytime we release a video, you will be notified. Thank you very much.